Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a, another a Valentine's Day makeup look. I want this look to be very pretty and a little lighter. By no means is this natural, it's still like a full face of glam. But it's just a little bit lighter than the normal like reds, dark browns, and cranberry shades that I like to work with. Without any further ado, if you would like to see how I achieve this look, then please just keep on watching. So to start off this look, I'm going to be going in with my Holy Grail Primer. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX. So I've gotten a few comments asking me to like switch up my face routine, but my skin is so dry and sensitive that there's only a few products that will work. Like there's a couple different primers I can use, but my foundation and concealer I usually stick with for a while until I can find something even better. But I do try to switch it up a little bit with like my bronzer and my blush and highlight. If you know of any other good foundations or concealers for dry, sensitive skin, leave them down below so I can check them out and try out different products. When I'm applying this, I just kind of let it sit for a minute after so it can get tacky. I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Advanced Stick Foundation in the shade Linen. And this is a new shade, so if it is a little bit too dark, I'm just going to be mixing it with Bisque. To conceal and highlight my face, I'm just going to be mixing my Tarte Shade Capes in Farrah Neutral and Light. To set my foundation concealer, I'm going to be using my RCMA No Color Powder. For bronzer today, I'm going to be using the Mac and Caitlin Jenner Collection Mineralized Skin Finish in Compassion. Contour, I'm going to be mixing Makeup Geek in Fidelity and Bad Habit. For blush today, I'm going to be using the MAC and Caitlyn Jenner Blush in Buddy and mixing the matte and shimmer shades together. I'm going to highlight after I do my eye makeup because I do put translucent powder on my eyes so I don't get any shadow or glitter fallout. But now I'm going to be moving onto my eyes and using the Morphe 35B palette. I'm just going to be setting my lid with these two creamy and white shades at the top. I'm also going to be using my Custom Z palette and first I'm going to be applying Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie as my transition shade. Now I'm going to be going back in with the Morphe 35B palette and taking this pale pink shade right here and just buffing that into my crease. Next I'm going to be with is Makeup Geek at Tuscan Sun. I'm just going to be using that to make my crease a little bit darker. The next shade I'm going to be going with is Makeup Geek Cupcake just to define my crease a little bit more. Now I'm going to be applying my NYX Glitter in Rose, but first I'm going to be cutting my crease with my Too Faced Glitter Glue.
I'm going to be highlighting my face, brow bone, and inner corners with my ABH Gleam Glow Kit and mixing Crushed Pearl and a Starburst. Now I'm going to be using my Tarte in my liner just to brighten up my waterline. On my lashes today to be very wispy, so I'm using my Certified Halo Lashes, and I do have a discount code, I will leave it down below. I'm going to finish off my eyes with my L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara and just blending my fake and natural lashes together as well as applying this to my lower lashes. I'm going to be finishing this look off with my lips, and today I'm going to be using my Kylie Coco K Lip Kit. And this is the final makeup look. Again, this look is just very light and pretty, and I think it is perfect to wear on Valentine's Day. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to turn on my notifications so that when I upload my next video, you won't miss out. Bye!